Hey guys, welcome to the Selfie Craft Room. I'm Jessica and today we are doing a whip and chat. Um, if you're new here and you don't know what whip stands for, it stands for work in progress. And what normally happens during a whip and chat is that you can bring out your own whips or um, if you want, do chores, sit on the couch, drive, while you listen to me ramble about what's been going on in my week. Um, with that being said, let's get started, shall we? <sighs> hey guys, so um, I hope you guys are doing well today. I finally have a new canvas and I'm almost done with this one. Um, I finished coral last week and I decided, I, I did kit up a new, new um, I did it kit up something else, but I decided to try and finish this up since this is the um, canvas, this thing I've been working on is downstairs all the time and I'm like, well, I'm that close to finishing it. I don't know when I'm going to touch this again because this is mostly during the evening hours and um, with while now taking my evening hours, I've just been like, well, I guess I can finish this off and then go back to my other uh, canvas that I'm working on. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, I Like I mentioned in my last whip and chat, I wasn't able to do any last week because I've been kind of, I, I had a very full schedule and to be honest, um, my schedule is still pretty full um, for, um, for a couple more weeks. And then after that, it's just more of, oh my goodness, do I even have time to get upstairs? <laughs> Cause I have kids home all the time. So it's going to be awkward, uh, to figure things out. It's just, um, at least we won't be sick anymore, hopefully. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm not going to talk about last Saturday yet. I'm going to go uh, back a week. Um, uh, from what I can remember, I wrote down some stuff couldn't remember everything. I should have started writing that down earlier. That's my fault. <laughs> but yeah, we, we've been trying to keep things, um, going around the house. And, uh, one of the things is, uh, we promised the twins, we promised both Michael and Jana that we were going to take them to the, um, bouncy place, um, and plus the arcade as one of their birthday things. And they didn't get to do it on their birthday. So my husband, Finally had time to take them out uh, last Saturday, not not the Saturday before last, <laughs> and he was able to take them out there. Uh, while I kind of just stayed home, I um I worked on coral at the time. I kind of um, also at one point been like playing catch up on WoW, so I was like. I was like mostly focusing on that a lot and my husband said don't worry about dinner so I didn't figure I figured I wouldn't do anything and I just kind of stayed on the computer for a good portion of the day to be honest um I've been just trying so hard to get things done in that game I'll, I'll talk more about that uh probably at the end of the video um I'll, I'll try not talk put too much while talk <laughs> um but uh, but yeah, Saturday was just basically a lazy day. Um, the weekends have uh, actually been very lazy, which have been surprising considering how busy we've been uh, so far. But um, Nicole decided she was going to take off and go to a friend. And I'm like, okay, I'll just stay home. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's awesome. All right, so gotten all that done. Um, then when she got home, she kind of demanded all, all of my attention. And I was just like, really kid? <laughs> you, you want attention now? <laughs> uh, when I'm in the middle of a thing? <laughs> so I had to stop what I was doing. And, uh, we were, we did a lot of chatting. She wanted, she wanted to watch, uh, tornado videos and things like that. Uh, while her brother and sister weren't home. Um, and then... Um, then we, we kind of were a little lazy on Sunday, that, that, the following Sunday as well. So, like, we've been getting messages from her middle school because she's going to go in middle school, you know, right after the summer, which is nuts. And she wants to join band. So, um, we've been getting messages from the band director there. Um, basically, they have the instrument fitting coming up. And we've already signed her up for the instrument fitting, which is um, this following Tuesday, uh, so she's going to, to get, 
her instrument chosen or whatnot. Um, but she had to watch a bunch of videos about oh, what kind of instrument she would like to play. And I kind of accidentally, uh, not, I didn't choose for her. I, I'm not, I'm not choosing the instrument for her. Um, but I kind of accidentally swayed her decision. So I used to play flute. I had a lot of fun playing flute. I was, um, I, I, I spent all of middle school and all of my high school playing that. I know how to play um, a couple of other instruments. Well, not anymore, but at the time when I was uh, still young, I, I could play a little bit of clarinet. I played a little bit of um, saxophone since I had clarinet um, and saxophone uh, friends. So they taught me how to play that and I tried to teach them how to play flute. Um, I got to play piccolo for a little bit, basically, you know, miniature version of flute, same fingerings and all that. Um, uh, but, but, um, I never really liked playing the flute. It was uh, a shrill, not flute, but the a piccolo, that was a shrill little thing. And I, I didn't have enough air. It feels like, it felt like, like trying to make sure it goes high enough without it being awful sounding. Um, so I never really played the piccolo. Um, I played it for like a couple of, a couple of years, like during the concert bands, but, um, I preferred to stay on the flute, to be honest. Uh, my friend, she, she was more of a piccolo player, so she got to have first seat and I, that was, I guess that was okay, but at the same time I was just like, had to roll my eyes because she bought herself a piccolo so she could get that seat, but whatever, right? Um, but anyway, um, I kind of swayed her decision because she originally wanted to play flute. And I felt like the reason why she wanted to play flute is because I play flute. And I didn't want her to do that just because I play flute. And um, as we're talking, like, we're just showing our, all the different instruments and stuff like that. A dot came into my head because um, one of the things that um, I always had issues with was rashes, like, on my lip when I played my instrument. At the time when I was young, I didn't connect the two together. So I have a nickel allergy. Um, it's not a, it's not really bad. It's bad enough where um, it can cause uh, irritation to my ears. My ears get really red and hot and they itch a lot. And um, I used to have three sets of piercings uh, when I was younger, when I was a teenager. Um, I used to have three sets of uh, low piercings, but, um, but the uh, other two got really infected. Um, all of them were gun, um, ear gun piercings, so they not the best place to get their piss, but where I lived, I was like in a small town and, you know, Walmart, you know, so I didn't really get much of a choice, uh, of, um, where to go get my ears pierced at the time, but, um, I used to always buy the nickel type earrings and things like that because, hello, I didn't know any better. And I only recently, you know, once I moved out of town and everything, figured out, oh, hey, you know, I have a nickel allergy. That's why this hurts all the time. Because no one really mentions, you know, you know, hey, if, you know, you itch and stuff, you know, you might have a nickel allergy. Because um, on top of that, my jeans the buttons on my jeans would always cause a horrible reaction on my stomach so I was just like I didn't realize you know hey you know this this isn't correct but um at the time I hadn't um I, I was dealing with the ears uh with the ear infections and stuff like that but at the same time when I was in school um when I would play when we did too much of practice and stuff especially during summer and then like during the marching season um, I would get a horrible rash underneath my, uh, uh, underneath my lower lip slash chin. And, um, it only was, the reason was because it's a nickel plated flute. Um, I got a decent flute. I, uh, when I was a, a kid, when I first started, I had like, um, goodness, I had one of the student flutes, the J flutes. So it was like a shorter, um, uh, shorter mouthpiece um, instead of like the long ar long arm instead so uh, when I switched to that I we got in a, a better version for me we went to the music store and that was like my Christmas gift um, it was my Christmas gift for several Christmases but we don't talk about that <laughs> um, but uh, let's see but yeah I, I always had like a reaction all the time especially around the summer and fall months um, 
uh, when we're doing non-stop practicing and stuff like that. And um, it was, it wasn't great. It wasn't, it was kind of painful, you know, um, but I pushed through it and I never really kind of chalked up that reaction until like I was older and I'm like, oh yeah, that's what happened. Well, the reason why I'm mentioning all this is my oldest has inherited my nickel allergy. She has it way worse than I did. Um, when we got her ears pierced, I got her to a reputable, um, like we went to an ear piercing salon. So we didn't do an ear piercing gun or anything like that. They did the whole needle stick business, you know, like, <clears throat> excuse me. Because I wanted to make sure that, you know, she got in a sanitary and, you know, uh, I wanted to make sure that everything went correct. And it still didn't go correct because, <clears throat> excuse me, it went correct at the beginning because, um, you know, when she was first wearing the earrings, they were um, gold and... Uh, not gold plated, but actual like 14 karat gold. Um, so she didn't have any reactions or anything like that. It was once we started doing fashion earrings and where she started having, it was, it was a, it was real bad. She had such a horrible reaction. Um, she couldn't wear her earrings for months. Like that was how bad, like she was, it was like bleeding and you know, all that kind of stuff. So I remembered that I had a horrible allergy and then I'm like, she has a horrible, way worse allergy than I did. And I just got concerned. I was like, I brought up the fact, I'm like, oh, um, the flute's nickel plated. Are you going to be okay being able to play that? Because it's not just the mouthpiece. It's the entire flute. You know, the thing, the, the keys and everything, like where your fingers are going to be landing, that, you know, you're going to have a, uh, you might have a really bad reaction to all that. Um, and... Um, I didn't mean to dissuade her, but I did. <laughs> um, so she, she kind of freaked out and she goes, I'll just play a different instrument. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm so, and I just, I went, you're an idiot. You're an idiot, Jessica. You just, you just really did that to her. You really just now put a fear into her. And I didn't mean to do that, but it's just, you know, parenting is not always the easiest thing. And then I, I was trying to make it better. I started looking stuff up and there was like stuff that I didn't know that, you know, that they had until now. Like, um, they had like sticker covers and things like that to put on top of a flute. And I was just like, oh, look, you could do, you can still play flute if you want. And she was adamant she, she's not playing flute anymore. So, um, but we looked through all the instruments, um, and she wants to play, her first choice is clarinet and then the saxophone, then the flute. And then it's like, um, I think... Um, it was like trombone is last or something like that. It was like, um, let's see. It was, uh, it was clarinet, saxophone, flute, percussion, uh, trumpets. Then, uh, either it was like, uh, trombone or something like that. I forgot the last option, but they were saying, um, percussion and, uh, saxophones they only have 12 spots for them um everywhere the rest of the class like you can you have total control of what what instrument you want to pick so um we're, we're gonna see what she likes this coming um this coming week she i think like i said it's on a tuesday so we're gonna get her fitted for an instrument it doesn't mean that she will be in um but if she is we'll have we'll get the information on where to get her uh, an instrument like where to go for it and everything like that um, my husband and I kind of talked about it we discussed that we're probably going to start off with rentals instead we're going to have her rent an instrument first because I mean like I got lucky my, my mom and dad they, they didn't spend a lot for my first flute because like I said it was a beginner's flute um, but it was such a learning curve for me when I had to switch from a beginner's flute to um to an actual flute I prefer like not to do as any kind of student kind of thing for her um to be honest but like I said I was kind of lucky because I got in a beat up instrument for about 250 dollars and I know how much instruments cost they, they cost up in the thousands um 
but um, especially if I want to get her a decent one and not like one of the cheap $90 flutes or anything like that. Not that there's anything wrong, but if she's going to be in band, I'm going to make sure she has a, a decent sounding instrument. So we we talked that we're going to rent, let her rent it. We're going to rent out an instrument first <clears throat> to make sure she actually likes it. Because I'm not spending a pretty penny on something that she's going to say, nah, I don't want to be in the band anymore. So we're going to uh, rent the instrument out and then uh, have her, you know, try out band. And, you know, within three to six months, if she still likes band and she wants to be part of it, I'll buy her an instrument. So that's that's what we've uh, came to an agreement with, my husband and I. But that should be okay. Um, but during the whole process, <laughs> when she was picking out her instrument, um, I was labeled cringe because um, I was trying to also cheer her up a bit with after, after freaking her out. I was making band joke after band joke after band joke. And she's just like, you're so cringe, mommy. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, she says a word. She thinks I'm embarrassing. Great. <laughs> so now, if she stays in band, Whenever she has band events, I'm gonna just start dropping one-liners. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna be that mom. <laughs> I'm gonna just drop a, a band joke every time I see her. Whenever she has a performance, I don't care. <laughs> I, 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 I'm gonna be that mom. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of excited to see her at the, uh, to see her get her, um, fitting though, because you know it's just kind of cool. <laughs> I remember when I got my um my when I went in for a instrument fitting it wasn't like how her class was um the funny thing was I was um in choir uh beforehand I was in uh for middle school I was in fifth grade choir and I wasn't doing so well because I had strip throat a lot to be honest um and my mom's deaf, but my mom comes to every single one of my performances. And um, the choir teacher at the time noticed that I played, well, not I, not I played, but she noticed that I do sign language when I was, when I went in for like a parent teacher conference kind of thing, had to um, translate for her. Um, and then like right after that, she wanted me to do a song in sign language and teach the teach the rest of the kids and I was supposed to have a spot like up in the front doing all the signing and stuff like that and the the rest of the kids were going to you know copy along on certain lines and then it came to be uh that she gave the spotlight to someone else which was weird <laughs> and at that point my the band director he he wasn't really happy with the the choir teacher because of how how she can pick favorites and, and things like that he came up to my mom um, and, uh, you know, mentioned who he was and everything, like had paper and stuff like that and told her that in sixth grade, like before my sixth grade thing, he wanted me to go to the band room and try out an instrument. Um, and that he thinks that I would be a better fit in band. <laughs> and he, it was so funny cause how he poached people like that. <laughs> but, um, it, it was true. I, I, I did do better in band. Um, I had, had him much more um fun time I, I i enjoyed myself a lot more in band compared to that one year in choir that that choir year was not as fun <laughs> but um but yeah when i went in my for my fitting he was just like what instruments do you want to play and i just kind of i was like i don't know and he's like he just handed me mouthpieces to to practice he goes well what do you think about this one this one this one and then like when i got to the flute and i started playing that one he he was like basically like I think you would be a really good flute player and everything and I was like oh really and he t had me practice like on the mouthpiece trying to go do 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 you know over and over and um uh, and he goes no you that sounds like a good thing but whatever you want he goes like um and then he taught show me the clarinet and like how I'm supposed to wet the um the reed uh to put onto the mouthpiece and everything and um I I, I like the flute the best <laughs> At the time, I didn't realize, like I said, the nickel stuff. But, you know, if I knew, <laughs> I probably wouldn't change my decision, to be honest. Um, let's see. So, yeah, that was uh, that was over the weekend. Uh, the weekend before last. Um, let's see. I'm going to take a sip of my soda. 
Let's see. Um, uh, Tuesday uh, was a big day. I'll, I'll probably not talk about WoW until, like, afterwards. So if people don't want to listen to WoW, you know, <laughs> they... They don't have to. So, um, Tuesday was, um, a bit of a day. I didn't get to go back to sleep. Uh, we had to get ready for the kids. All the kids went into school, but, um, later on, like, a few hours later, um, we, my husband and I went to go and get Michael and Jaina for their doctor's appointment. Um, I mentioned before that, uh, we were concerned about that they had, um, ADHD. And, uh, we were... Our fears, well, we're not fears, but our suspicions were um, held correct at the time. And we were just doing a follow-up, um, basically um, getting to see if the medicine was correct, um, all that. And um, we were mentioning that the medicine was not working. Um, they, It doesn't seem like that there was any change in behavior, to be honest, honest with them. We weren't expecting miracles, but we were expecting like that they would get, you know, get, you know, have some focus that they would, you know, um, that it, they wouldn't be still jumping like off the walls, um, and everything, um, uh, that, you know, they were a bit calmer, I guess. I, well, but we, we've talked to him and we were wondering if this is like what we're supposed to expect, what, what we're not, you know, if we're, you know, um, uh, if we were like expecting too much kind of stuff and, um, he, he was seeing how they were behaving there and, you know, they, they were like, they had recess before we went to pick them up and they were still like monkeys. And I was just like very embarrassed. Um, and he goes, yeah, I can, I can definitely tell that the medicine hasn't done anything. Um, we're going to up it a little bit, um, but that means, you know, basically watch out, definitely watch out for the decreased appetite, um, because Jane has already had a decreased appetite. This kid's already, <laughs> already a picky eater, so it's already hard enough to get her to eat, so, um, let's see, we'll go with this color. So, yeah, I was just like, okay, uh, we'll just deal with, we'll just, you know, we'll, we'll see what we're doing. So he did that. Um, and it takes a while for CVS to send that kind of stuff to, um, uh, to get through. Um, so usually we, we were, we told him we were going to start on Saturday with it once it came in. It didn't, the medicine didn't, uh, get, wasn't ready until like Thursday. So we went to pick it up on, on Friday. So, so yeah, Saturday was the right time to, to do all that. Um, <clears throat> Funny enough, like, CVS does get other stuff ready if it, if you're sick and stuff. But when it's, like, something like this kind of medicine, they always take their time. They they drag their feet about it. Um, and it's just, it's so annoying. But, yeah, but that day, like I said, it was kind of packed full with a lot of stuff. But, um, but yeah, we were, like, we picked the kids up at, I think it was 1030 because they were still in recess. Um, I made them a lunch to eat in the car. Um, so that way they could, you know, wouldn't be hungry. I gave them lunch. I, I packed like, I packed almond butter, uh, uh, um, almond butter jelly sandwiches. Got like, um, one of their favorite fruit snacks. Um, packed a juice. Got in a fruit as well, just in case. Because it was an hour drive. And all this time, my husband and I forgot to eat. <laughs> um... So, it was a bit of a drive. It takes about an hour to get there. Their appointment was 11.30. Um, and then by the time we were done, it was about 12.50 or so. Um, and my husband and I had a rush to get to back to the school because we still had to pick up Nicole. Um, but he decided he was going to treat out, treat the treat the um, twins because, you know, they, they had to deal with all that whole appointment and stuff like that. So we went to Wendy's, one, to get food for me and him, and two, to get them Frosties. So he got them Frosties and everything. They were so excited. And me and my husband were like, food, help. <laughs> um, so uh, as he's doing that, 
He then goes to the Dunkin' Donuts that's next door. And I'm just like, what are you doing? He goes, nothing. I'm like, are you ordering donuts? He's like, the order's already been placed. I'm just picking up. I'm like, oh no. So he picked up like two dozen, like two dozen um, uh, um, donuts uh, for us to have as a, as a snack <laughs> um, when we got home. Like he treated them. Uh, to, to donuts for the next day as a breakfast thing. I'm like, goodness gracious. Um, but he gave one to Nicole for that day because, you know, she wasn't there with us. But, um, but yeah, she, it, it was like, it was a pretty long day. Um, I haven't, I haven't slept at all well that week at all. Um, then, oh, one of the things is, um, I wanted to talk to you about, uh, because I've been waiting for this to process. Um, cause I remember like when, um, I first posted... I made a video, um, an unboxing from Uniquely Yours, um, and it was, a, I'm, I remember talking about, like, how, um, uh, when I was doing the, when I was working on the canvas about how people were, um, calling me, a sh uh, calling me names and stuff like that because of how, um, how bad her, her, uh, reputation was. When I ordered it at the time, it wasn't bad, um, when I ordered it, so... Uh, but, man, my canvas is sliding all over the place. Um, yeah, but when I, when I ordered the first thing, at the time, it was, wasn't bad, everything was fine. Um, and then, um, and then, like, right after I gotten my canvas and I did the unboxing, it was, like, last June. Um, I had people, um, uh, basically saying I was a suck-up and blah, 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 and I was just like, I'm just doing an unboxing on a new company. I'm, I didn't know any better. I'm sorry, guys. Like, um, and then I did the um, canvas, and I still, I mean, like, I heard some of the, you know, that there was, like, that that she was, that some of, like, it was taking a while for some of her stuff to get there, but it seemed like they were legitimate excuses because of, you know, um, because of the lockdowns and everything. So um, by Christmas time, I decided, you know, my husband decided to, to gift me um, a gift card to get some more Josephine Wall paintings from her. And I I placed an order for two of them. And then it was just like, it took forever to get a response from, from it. Um, and like, it was like, uh, so I ordered this back in December. So, I mean, like, if, so if you realize what, uh, what month it is, it's May. So... I ordered this back in December and then she was like, you know, Chinese New Year, lockdowns, blah, blah, blah. But there was like people, I noticed some uh, in diamond painting groups, some people were complaining about how she was not doing anything. She has, it was like stuck in processing. And I was just like looking at my thing at the time. It was like, if I remember, it was like late March, um, early April, where I was just like, you know, this hasn't done anything. There, it hasn't moved. Like, it took me three months to get my last canvas. Like, and we're still nowhere close to getting these two canvases that I ordered back in December. And then, um, on one of the diamond painting groups that I'm, I'm in, I see a, a concerning post where, like, her website was down and there was no response. I was just like, what the heck? Well, oh, good lord, right? Um, and I think that was just... Uh, at that point, it was like, um, at, at that point, my husband was just like, no, we're going to get a refund because this is getting ridiculous. It shouldn't take this long. And now that her website's closed, that doesn't bode well at all. Um, it's up back up, by the way. But, um, but yeah, he started the process to get a, um, refund on everything because he was just done with it. He's like, I didn't spend almost, it was like 200 Two hundred plus dollars to for a uh, um a Christmas gift for you not to get any enjoyment out of it, you know, and be stressed about it. He, so especially since I was like hoping to do it for like another Josephine Wall event and everything, but uh, but yeah, it was just like it was. It wasn't pleasant, and um, she never responded to my husband when he did the um when he did the refund and we eventually did get a refund but it was just like no no communication at all like no like i'm sorry or anything like that it was just like 
All right, <laughs> I'm never ordering from this place again. <laughs> and I didn't even get an email saying that my, my thing was canceled or anything like that. Just, it was just whatever. So I'm not even bothering logging back into the site. So um, I'm, I'm not going to do there, go there again. But it's just like kind of sucks because it's like, I really wanted to get a, um, a Josephine Wall thing. Like the, I wanted the Dragon Charmer. And uh, what was the other one that I wanted? Uh, it was like the autumn one that um, I wanted those two. I've been having my eye on those for the last few years. And now it's like, okay, where else am I going to get it? And I know there's um, Diamond Painting Deutschland. Um, and then the one with the diamond art. Um, but it's just like, I don't want to... I, I mean, I know at least Diamond Painting Deutschland uh, will be okay to order from, but... Um, I don't want to order from them because they're they don't have uh um uh rolled glue canvases it's all double adhesives and I'm like no 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 I'm, I'm too scared about the rivers and bubbles and you know keeping my canvas flat because I do not keep my canvas flat <laughs> my canvas goes all over the place <laughs> um <coughs> excuse me um so I was just, I don't know, I was just, I was like, well, I'll, I'll keep an eye on when, if, if somewhere, uh, and I'll, or I'll make a, I'll make a chance somewhere else, somewhere, <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, so, I mean, like, we finally got that pulled in on around Wednesday, so that's why I'm talking about that, um, and I'm still a little, I'm still a little kind of grumbly about it, um, oh, also, did you guys see that, um, since you know uh, we're talking about stuff uh that mystery um Hannah Lynn I wanted that one so bad I didn't get it but I really wanted to um but it's just like with all the stuff that I've ordered because I ordered the I ordered um I think I ordered something the weekend before like uh it was like Dark Moon Fae and then um Virgo, so like one of the Zodiac ones. So I was just like, I can't order anymore. And then of course the next day we get a restock. And wouldn't you know it, the one that one diamond painting I've been like drooling over comes back in stock and I can't get that one either because it's so expensive. <laughs> um But Jessica, why don't you use your money that you got from you got your refund refund back? Because I didn't want to spend more money on diamond paintings. I know, blasphemy, but <laughs> at the same time you're just like hmm. <laughs> um and then let's see Thursday um I had I didn't get to sleep again um actually I was up for let's see uh I was up for th I was a uh, I was like I only had like three hours of sleep when I woke up on Thursday so I was exhausted when I got up and I didn't go back to bed um when I got the kids um when I got the kids ready because I had to leave within an hour to go see my dentist. Um, so I've been telling you about my saga, I guess would be the best way to say it, um, of getting this crown uh, put in after I got a dental implant. And it's been a while because, you know, like have to, you know, you know, spend a pretty, pretty penny on stuff and um, the healing process and all that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I went in on Thursday to get, finally get the crown put in and oh my God, what a process that was. So, uh, what happened is, okay, I'm going to scoot this a little bit up so you can see the bottom of this. All right. So what happened was, um, I didn't realize it was going to hurt. I mean, like the implant hurt, like after, after I got the implant in, because hello, they, they, they drilled into, you know, your gums and everything, but just putting a crown on top of the implant, I didn't realize it was going to be that, well, not painful, but it was just like, it kind of hurt. Um, let me take another sip. Of yeah, but it kind of hurt a lot. Um, let's see see um we're gonna go with this color if I can find it oh here we go um so yeah I was just I was oh, goodness it, it 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 made my mouth ache all day long I had to take some time off for it um it was just 
a lot of pushing in um, snug fit, which, you know, you want a snug fit when you, you get your implant in. Um, but, like, she was uh, telling me to open my mouth wider. And, you know, like, she was pushing really hard on the um, crown onto the implant and, you know, maneuvering it. Then she was, like, taking things out. <clears throat> and it was just, it, it was, uh, I wasn't expecting it to take as long as it did. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's going to be, like, less than 30 minutes. And I'm going to be in and out of the, <laughs> uh, it took a little bit longer. Um, but, um, but I finally got it in and my mouth was just so sore after that. Um, I have to floss a different way now because, like, the way my, um, teeth are, in it's kind of snug enough where I can get the floss in but then now I have to slide it all the way out instead of like being able to pull the floss back down so <sighs> I'm just I'm, I'm at least I have also a water pick to help out <laughs> um but once we were done with that my um husband decided hey what better way because we live well not lift, but um, the dentist place is near that Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> so we went and got uh, not more donuts because we still had donuts from two days ago um, when we ordered. But he would decided we didn't have, we since we didn't get to drink coffee or anything, we were going to just go and get some coffee. <laughs> so I got, I got an, um, a coffee and like a croissant or something. I don't remember what he ordered me. It was like ham and cheese croissant, I think. Um, that was soft enough for me to eat. And I was joking around when I told him I was going to need soft foods. But nope, I definitely needed something soft that day because ah my mouth was so, it was like, it, it was, it was so sore. And it's just like everything felt tight like I was just thinking there's no way this is just you know I'm going to this there's no way that this is on right you know I'm, I'm wrong it, it's on right um it took till the next uh till Saturday for my mouth to feel like it was somewhat normal it still feels weird it feels really weird to be honest because I've been embarrassed about trying about smiling I mean like my husband says he doesn't notice it but he's my husband um uh it's far enough in the back where if I smile normal, if I, if I smile, smile, you can't really tell unless you're looking that I was missing a tooth. But if I like laughed or smiled big enough, you would definitely tell. And I was just like very embarrassed by it. So, um, it feels so weird now looking in the mirror and seeing a tooth there <laughs> after it hasn't been for a while. So, I mean like, and it's so much easier to eat again. I was just like, goodness, um... It was just, it was, it's just, it's just different. And I feel like I have some part of my confidence back. I, I don't know, confidence is the right word, but I don't feel as ashamed to smile. I don't like smiling in, in, in front of people anyway, but I don't, I, I guess it's not as embarrassing to me to smile to, to people now. So, um, there's that. Um, my husband says it's well worth every penny. I'm still like on the, uh... <laughs> I'm still debating about that, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it was just like, I was already drained and I wanted to fall asleep while I was at the doctor's office, but I couldn't because it was just, it was just all of that. It was just, oh my goodness. Um, let's see, number, we're going to go with T. Um, uh, Friday. That okay, Friday, yeah, Friday. I <laughs> I passed out, um, so like uh, on after Thursday, because, um, like I said, I'll talk more about wild stuff, but to let you guys know, um, I spend then right now my schedule is like Tuesday, Wednesdays, Thursdays. I um have to stay up at until at least 11 30, 12 o'clock because of how my schedule is. So after that, I try and wind down before I go to sleep. So I don't get as much sleep anymore. <laughs> so Friday, I had nothing to, nothing to do. Like with doctor appointments, I didn't have any wow obligations or anything like that. I woke up on Friday and what I did was, <laughs> this is, this is funny. I don't rem remember much of it, but like I got up, I got the kids ready and normally I stay downstairs until the kids leave to go, um, go to school. Like I stay, stay downstairs long enough so that way I can say good, goodbye to them. And then I go, go back to bed. Not this time. So this Friday it was, um, pajama day 
and um, we, they, they kind of do like a little celebration right at the end of the year. So it was pajama day and um, I bought brand new pajamas for, for all the kids, you know, to wear and um, and they all had to go and give me grief about it. Like, I, why did I even bother buying new pajamas if none of them, well, two out of the three, you know, didn't wear them. So, with Nicole, she decided she wanted to wear long pants. And I'm just like, kid, it's going to be 80 degrees today. And she goes, I can roll these up, no problem. And with Jaina, the ones, brand new ones I bought, she wanted to wear pants as well. Because it's cold in there and she wanted to wear a nightgown instead. I'm like, but that stuff's a little bit older. I bought you brand new pajamas so you don't know, have ones with holes in them. And then with Michael, good lord. He argued with me. We we spent um, 10 minutes looking for these pajamas that I bought him. And it all came to a head where I went into the dryer. Because it's like, well, I did do a lot, load of laundry. I just haven't folded any of the clothes. And I go into the there. And there's no none of his new pajamas. And he comes back in. And he's all like, what do these pajamas look like again? I'm like, they're your brand new ones. When, you never bought me any new pajamas. I'm like the ones that are gamers, like you know, it has a has has a, a game controller on it. And then he goes, "Oh, that one. That's in my drawer." <sighs> I I admit I I raged a bit because I'm I'm like got a lack of sleep, you know, from from prior day, and I'm still trying to play catch up with the sleep. I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. And after all that, I decided, like, once he went downstairs, I separated everyone's laundry. I put everyone's laundry into their bedrooms. And I'm like, okay, they're done. They're they're going full laundry when they get home. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. But, like, when we when we got downstairs, um, I got the kids' hair ready. And at, I think it was, like, 6.30. I was like... I'm going upstairs, hon. I'm going back to bed. I can't hang anymore. And that's what I literally did. I I didn't even say good, goodbye to the kids or anything like that. I was just like, I sunk out and slept. <laughs> I slept. <laughs> um, but a uh, funny story was uh, on uh, when I woke up, it was it was pretty late. Um, but I figured what I was going to do, because I had one section left of coral, um, and I finally finished that one, like, right before I had to go pick up the kiddos, I was just like, I'm done, it's over, I'm finally finished, and I'm kind of considering maybe finishing this up, because it'd be kind of nice to say I had two finishes in May, instead of like, you know, one every two months, <laughs> with how my schedule's been lately. But, um, but, uh, yeah, I just, <laughs> I, um, I finished Coral and then I just, I started kitting that down and I pulled out, um, Where the Fun Never Ends. Um, I was kind of debating about doing it cause it's, it's, oh, it's middle of May guys. Um, uh, and you know, I'm slow enough as it is, but although, um, uh, I'm told that I'm faster with rounds, it's a round one, but yeah, it's a, it's a many man I don't know. I, I'll have a sticker right here, um, of the logbook sticker, um. I haven't done an unboxing on this one or anything like that. My husband bought this for me um, because he and my um, my oldest, they both watch Adventure Time. They love Adventure Time. So, in fact, they're re-watching the whole series again since um, I started um, raiding and doing Mythics again uh, on uh, three nights a week. So, we're not doing our normal... My Hero Academia nights anymore. <laughs> we're just we're still doing them. But they just aren't as they're not every day like they used to be. Uh, which Nicole is very sad about. I'm like I'm sorry, kid. You know, those the breaks. I still I'm still spending time with you. It's just I told you these three nights I'm I'm busy now. <laughs> um, but um but yeah my husband wants to do that once he wanted me to work on that so I'm going to try and work on it for at least the rest of May if I don't finish it 
eh, it, I'll come back to it um, because I do have other things I want to do during the summer. Like there's that princess long that's coming up. There's a Sailor Moon event coming up at the end of the summer. Um, there's like Jasmine Beckett Griffith stuff. You know, I, I am, I'm like, I, I will work on it, but I can't promise I'll finish it. I told him so. I started working on it um, on Saturday, and I found, and I got one section done uh, because it's upstairs, and this is downstairs. And during the weekends, I stay downstairs um, compared to being upstairs because the kids are home and I'm you know taking care of them and we're spending time as a family. So, and the summer's going to be like that uh, because. I got to make sure that they're not bothering bothering the hubby while he works and everything. He says that he probably will take a couple of days going into the office during the summers. Uh, just be, so that way, especially if it's like a busy time or anything like that. And the kids are being especially loud. He'll just probably go in instead. Well, and it's like, okay, you know, we'll miss you. But I completely understand because, you know, it kind of sucks when you got three children constantly going, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. <laughs> uh, and you're like in a meeting. So, um, but, um, but yeah, I, I, I finished kidding. Um, I finished kidding up late at night on that one, <laughs> to be honest. Um. But, um, and then I started picking out my nail polish colors, uh, to, to work on the next day. And my husband let me know that we, we, he was going to go over to his, um, parents' house on Saturday. He was going to spend time, um, helping out with them. <clears throat> Goodness gracious, I'm thirsty today. <sighs> but, um, yeah, so on, so Saturday he's, he went to go see his parents' One was uh, because he wanted him wanted his help with the, um, with the blinds to hang up blinds, and then he was going to also cook, uh, steak for them as a Mother's Day gift for his mom. So he left, and uh, I spent the rest of the time with the kiddos. And of course, Nicole, the number one thing she does is, can I go over to my friend's house? <sighs> okay. All right, you can go to your friend's house. And she was like, bye. <laughs> we we had to have a talk with her after a while because we found out that she's, you know, she's she's uh, avoiding her brother and sister again. And we're like, we're not saying be BFFs, but we're saying at least, you know, they're making an attempt to at least, you know, include them on stuff because uh, she's, she's getting very agitated with them if they don't know the same things that she does. And it's like, kid they're on a different grade level than you are <laughs> of course they're not going to know some of the stuff you're talking about um and she gets very upset about that i'm just like well you know you're gonna have to deal <laughs> uh let's see we'll, we'll switch it up we're gonna go purple now <clears throat> but yeah he he uh <laughs> he surprised me with, uh, my husband surprised me with a couple things like so the day before uh, we get a box and he goes oh my sous vide things in here I'm like wait what so he's been like on a kick lately and <laughs> he got um, a sous vide uh, um, uh, a machine thing and along with a vacuum sealer and um, he's like oh I'm gonna sous vide these steaks for for uh for my parents and uh, I'm going to cook them all this stuff. And I'm like, oh? And he's like, yeah. And then I'm going to do it at home sometime. And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. And I'm like, okay. And he's just like, <laughs> he's he's nerding out. It's so cute. And um, he's like really excited and stuff like that. So I was just like, okay, you do you. <laughs> he took that. He took that with him on Saturday. He's like, I'm going to go and go to the store and pick up steaks for them. I'm going to make them, make them baked potatoes and asparagus. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I'm, I have to admit, I'm a little jealous because they got to try that out first, but you know, whatever. Um, I'm not so jealous because I got, I got a good meal for Mother's Day. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, he spent all the time there. I kind of hung out with the, the, the twins for a bit while Nicole did her own thing. Um, I had, I was trying to work on my nails cause I felt inspired. Just, here's a little bit more of a wild stuff. I felt inspired by the, 
new raid bosses and and i'll talk about that later after after everything but i felt inspired by by the colors that they had and i was like i want to do an ombre i wanted to do like a sunset kind of thing and the ombre came out terrible um so i'll have to re reattempt that another time in the future I just decided I'm going to go with solid colors and put like the sparkly flaky stuff on my nails instead. Um, but I stick with the same color scheme that I uh, I I did so uh, when I wanted to do the ombre. But you know um, I had to redo it the next day. <laughs> um, but at least it wasn't too bad. I, I did some I did redid some of it the day of, um, but then I had to just you know finish a couple couple bits on the next day. But, um, but my husband didn't come home until, like, really late. He had to go to the grocery store. Um, I think he went in before and also after with his parents. And he was really hungry, so, um, he picked up some Mexican food for him and I to eat. <laughs> so I got to have something to munch on. And then, of course, I let Nicole have a, um, Nicole got to watch My Hero Academia with us for like for just one episode and that was it she she was upset <laughs> but i'm like well you know what happens happens we gotta you know you gotta go to bed <laughs> excuse me my goodness um but let's see uh so yeah the next day was mother's day um i wished my mom happy mother's day um and kind of it was like a it was a quite a uh, affair. It wasn't like anything big or crazy or anything like that. Um, but, um, I, oops, sorry. Uh, oh, he didn't go to the store on Saturday. He went on the store Sunday instead. <laughs> um, but, uh, let's see. What, what, what else did we do? Um, let's see. So when I woke up, I met, I mentioned to him earlier in the week that I wanted to, I, I didn't want waffles, but I wanted to like him and the kids to make waffles together because the kids have been asking for waffles this whole time. They've been like begging him to make him waffles. And I'm like, I just think it might be a nice little activity to, to do for them. I'm like, I'm not saying I want any, but I think, you know, you and them doing waffles together as a, you know, Mother's Day kind of thing, you know, would be a nice, th nice thing. So that's, uh, that's what he did. He, he made, uh, waffles and, uh, sausages and everything. So we got to eat together. It was, it was sweet. <laughs> And then he went to go pick up groceries. He, he placed an order for pickup. And he was going to get me Subway. <laughs> and he goes, it's crowded out there. Can you believe that restaurants are busy on Mother's Day? <laughs> I'm like, who would have thought? <laughs> I'm like, it's no, not a big deal. So I ate my leftover Mexican food. <laughs> um, I was like, I can just eat this. It's fine. I'll eat leftovers. It's not a big deal. Um, but uh, but the kids at that point decided that they wanted to go and give me their gifts. And, oh, man, they were so worried that I wasn't going to like them. I'm like, why would you? Why do you guys think I'm not going to like your stuff? <laughs> I got, like, these, like, um, shrinky, you know, the shrinky dink stuff um, and onto a keychain. Uh, where they just both, both Michael and Jaina put like, I love you, you best mom ever, kind of stuff. I'm like, aww. Um, those are currently now, um, sitting next to my, my monitor downstairs. Um, and then Nicole had like a little poem and she did butterflies. <laughs> and I was just like, aww, you guys are so sweet. And then they were like, okay, see you, love you, bye. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> what? Um, I asked them to clean up the li living room and the dining room for me. I'm like, I'm like, I want to play, I want to play some games with you guys. I want to do some stuff with you. We didn't really do anything. <laughs> I'm like, come on guys, it's Mother's Day. At least, at least, you know, give me a break. Like, throw a bone. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> My goodness. Um, but... One of the things uh, my husband decided to do um, is make me lasagna because he's like, "What do you want to? What do you want to eat for for uh, Mother's Day?" And I was just like, "I don't normally like going out for we. I don't. I think we only did it one time, maybe two, but most often we we eat in. You know. So he's like, "What do you want for Mother's Day?" And I was just like, 
I, I know it's a big process and I was just like, this is before I knew he was going to his parents' house. Um, and I was like, lasagna. I'm like, I want you to make your lasagna. Because, oh my god, his lasagna is so delicious. And then when I found out he was going to his mom's, I'm like, well, we can, you can make that the next day, next week. It's not a big deal. We can, we don't have to do anything. This, you know, because I just felt bad that he would have to do, cook two big meals, you know. Uh, back to back. He goes, it's not a big deal. I, I'm like, yeah, but you know, that's a lot of work, you know? Um, but no, he, he made me, he made me lasagna. It was so good. I was just like, it, it took a while, but, um, it, we didn't eat until like 6.30 in the evening. And I was just like, oh, I'm, 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 I'm so good. In fact, I want to eat some leftovers right now. I'm so hungry. <laughs> just talking about it is making me go, oh my gosh. <laughs> it was, it was really good. Um, I, I enjoyed every bit of it. Um, but, yeah, then it was like, after that, it was like, I was trying to get the kids to play any sort of board games, and I was able to get Nicole and Jaina on board, but Michael was just like, mm-mm, ain't doing it. And I'm just like, man, aww. <laughs> um, but my, my hubby joined in, too, like, in between of his cooking stuff. So, I mean, like, overall, it was a nice quiet relaxing day not like anything crazy or anything like that um we gotten a phone call from our landscaper guy who's you know cuts our lawn for us wanting to know if uh he can come over yesterday and we're like no we can skip a week it's fine we'll see you next tuesday or something like that so although i mean like looking at the front of the house yeah we could skip a week but if you look in the back of the house no we can't skip a week <laughs> it's been like rainy a lot of times um <clears throat> but um let's see is this i don't oh and then we get a phone call from the school so now i'm shopping for the kids before before this friday so um, they have to have a swimsuit, um, underneath, um, their clothes for Friday because it's water day or fill day and they're doing water activities. And I'm just like, they, we never got a thing where it's like, they have to wear swimsuits. It's always been, um, if they do wear a swimsuit, um, please have clothes on top of it kind of thing. This time it's mandatory. And I'm just like, <sighs> okay, all right. So now I'm looking like I'm looking for swimsuits that fit them, and it's kind of hard with Nicole right now <laughs> trying to find swimsuits that fit that kid. But um, but I've picked out a couple this morning, um, and I'm gonna ask for her opinion. I'm gonna ask for all of their opinions um before I place an order, so that way that they get here in time. And I hope they do, and I hope they fit. And I'm gonna just cross my fingers on that. <laughs> um. And I guess I could talk a little bit about WoW, even though I can kept kind of putting it in throughout the whole, whole conversation. <laughs> um, so, let me take a sip of my coffee. Because I did bring up coffee and it's cool enough to drink it now, thank goodness. Um, but, um, so all week I've been prepping to get ready for the new raid. Um, studying the bosses, um, and, you know, just kind of feeling a little nervous and overwhelmed and, um, you know, just getting that, you know, trying to get all that nervous energy out. Um, I started, like, playing a lot on Saturday, uh, the previous Saturday, like, on the last, last patch content where, uh, um, trying to work on getting this one trinket that's supposedly, like, best in slot for my class and, um... I, I got, I need to upgrade it. I got the trinket, but now I need to upgrade it. Um, and I was just playing catch up with all the, well, all the stuff right now. But, uh, but, um, yeah, but yeah, it was just like, just trying to do that, all that right before, for Tuesday. And then, you know, dealing with all the stuff I did on Tuesday and then I got home and then cook dinner and then get ready for raid <laughs> was crazy. Um, but I did start it. Do, I did start raid on. I start raids like at nine o'clock. Um, so trying to get the kids ready for bed is um an ordeal sometimes. Uh, because I'm the one that does um raid and fights. So uh, I start raiding fights like at eight forty five. So I try and get on about about like eight o'clock, eight fifteen, um if I can. 
especially since the twins try and prolong bedtime. <laughs> My husband usually helps out on those days, um, whenever I'm doing a raid, but, um, but yeah, uh, but Nicole wasn't happy because it, she was like, we're going to watch My Hero Academia, right? I'm like, no, I, I told you I got raid this week. <laughs> and then she goes, is it just this week or is it going to be every week? I'm like, every week, sweetie. <laughs> and then she's like, she kind of threw a fit and I was just like, I'm, I'm like, I'm sorry, you know, this, this is what I normally do. Um, and this is like when when I first started doing all this, this is like when they went to bed and everything like this. And my husband told me that, you know, she can she can calm down and well not not get over it, but if she wants to spend time with me, she can do it during other times where like whenever I'm asked because I always do go, Hey, you wanna go do a thing? And it's always like, nah, I don't feel like it, you know, like that. So he he goes. He's that he says that she has to respect the fact that I have have um have some stuff to do as well, and you know, and I and I guess he's right, but at the same time, I feel kind of bad. But I did say like if things like if school life or you know when she has school activities, school activities definitely take take that over over my game. Um, like if she has a baseball game or anything like that, I don't think that there's going to be. Um, but there could be, and I already let my read leader know, um, if, uh, if I'm going to, you know, have to do that kind of stuff. Um, and she'll be understanding about that. It's going to suck when that happens, but you know, that just means that I'm not going to be, um, I'm going to be more of a casual one when that happens. <laughs> and that's it. Um, it's probably not going to happen for a few more years though. Um, but I still want to be able to talk to other people, um, because, I mean, like, yeah, I talk to, I talk to these people, like, um, like, typing to them and everything, but it's kind of nice to actually just say stuff and, you know, just kind of have fun and let loose and not have to, uh, you know, kind of, kind of just keep everything all tight inside because, like, you have, have kids, like, around you and stuff like that. It's just, it's fine to just calm down and just, like, let loose. <laughs> and that's what happens a lot. It's just, like, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of uh, laughter. Um, a lot of rowdiness at times. Not so much anymore since one of the guys that, uh, that play, he, he's not around. So it's kind of, the rain nights are a little quieter. <laughs> we noticed. It's a little weird. <laughs> I miss him already. I want him to come back. <laughs> um, but he, he couldn't handle, well, not when I say couldn't handle, it's more of like, he's just, he's not interested anymore. And I can tell that I can, I can get, get that. I, it's kind of hard for me to keep my interest too, to be honest. But, um, but it's just, uh, but it's more of me trying to make sure I have, you know, some sort of social interaction and I'm not just talking to my kids all the time or my husband. I just will make him go insane if I just constantly say the same stuff over and over and over and over. <laughs> um, but yeah, we did it. We had a first, uh, good first raid. Um, we gotten all the way to the last boss. We didn't defeat him on Tuesday. And then we did the first heroic boss <clears throat> before we called it a night. We kind of went over, um, over, um, 11, we were supposed to raid, I mean, not 11, we only, we went over 11.30. We, we ended at 11.30, but since it's the first night, uh, we thought we could get to, like, almost 12. And about 11.45, people started complaining, <laughs> like, we want to go to bed, ah! <laughs> that kind of stuff. But, um, but, uh, but yeah, we, we called it at that point. And then the next night, I had Mythic Plus, and oh my god. Um, something happened. I had an update on my computer. So my computer updates and you know, whenever your computer does an update, it's never a good thing. <laughs> I'm going to take another sip of coffee. So my, um, keyboard stopped working. It kept freaking out and then my mouse would not work. And my husband figured out it was like the drivers, um, cause I had older drivers, um, for it. So he updated that. And it was just such a hassle. And hopefully it's now fixed. But I was in panic mode. Because I was doing Mythic Plus. And I we, I thought it fixed. It was already all fixed. And it did the issue again. In the middle of a Mythic. Like we, we literally were like five minutes in. And I 
flub with the first boss. We didn't die. No one wiped. But it was just like, I was panicking so much. I was clicking instead of like tapping on my keyboard. I was using my mouse to click the, the, the actions. I have not done that since I first started playing the game. Um, but I had no choice. <laughs> um, it, it was like, it was so nerve wracking. I was so glad that um, I was able to kind of do a quick fix while that was happening. And on top of that, um, my headset kept cutting out with the music. And they said that, oh, your control key must be um, stuck. Um, and I think that they're correct. I'm hoping not to get a new keyboard. I really don't want to get a new keyboard right now. It's kind of expensive, the ones I want. Um, so... I just, I, I think I'll be fine, uh, but I don't, I really don't want to get a new keyboard at this moment, but playing the, those last three nights, though, um, have caused my hands to hurt so much, and it's like, okay, yeah, I really do need to start working on that new game pad my husband bought me, so I'm, I'm going to definitely, definitely tonight, I'm going to start working on that. I'm going to also be switching my spec, um, so I'm... Outlaw, I'm, I, I play Rogue, um, and I play an Outlaw spec, um, and, um, like, my, one of the, one of my guildies who, who plays Rogue, he normally plays, plays Subtlety, and then we have another Rogue, he plays, he plays Outlaw as well, um, <coughs> but, um, he was like, he, he was kind of pushing for Subtlety, and then, like, kind of went and started giving me, uh, uh, like basically advice, not the, not not like saying it was unwelcome, but it was just like it's, it's just him, you know. He 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 wants to be helpful, um, and I think I'm going to make the switch to be an assassination rogue again, at least for raiding, and then like for mythics and stuff like that for mythic plus dungeons, I'm going to be a, um, an outlaw rogue. Um, and honestly, I really miss playing um, assassination. But they have changed the spec a little bit too much where I'm I'm not sure how I'm going to like it. But I'm going to um, definitely give it a shot. I'm going to try it. Um, and I don't know if I want to do that. Learn the new spec while also learning the um, gamepad that I have. But eh, you know what? Might as well, right? <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I'm going to be probably doing that. And we got Raid coming up tomorrow. So... <sighs> that's going to be um, interesting with the fitting instrument fitting that's coming up along with that. So just more stuff to kind of just rush me. <laughs> Excuse me. But um, on the second night of raid, we, we stopped at 1130 because we didn't want people to get all <laughs> up in arms. Um, but yeah, we stopped at 1130. Um, we, we took a while, but we finished the last boss um, of the, of the raid on normal. And then we... I know we got the second boss down, but I can't remember if we got the third boss. I, I don't remember. <laughs> um, it's it's kind of hard. Like, when, once I get to, like, a certain point at, at night, like, I get, I start zoning out. <laughs> I hate saying that, but I do zone out, like, like when I start getting tired. I And I'm still like, I can do it. Just give me coffee. I'll got this. I'll stay awake. And it, as my eyes are like, I'm so tired. <laughs> and I'm just like, I got this. I can do it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I just, I, I don't remember we got the third boss or not. Um, we probably, probably didn't. I think we'd made a decent attempt, attempt on it. I could be wrong. <laughs> Maybe we did. I don't remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, I'm just, I'm enjoying myself. I, I, uh, I started, I started playing a little bit in the last two days, um, for the weekend. I haven't logged on, which I feel kind of, um, embarrassed about. I really should have played, but I was just like, no, I'm taking me time. It, you know, it's my time, dang it. <laughs> um, but I have, I did get to play catch up all on Friday night. Like on Friday night, I stayed up. Like even though I, I just finally caught up on sleep and I slept late on Friday and like I woke up, I mean, I woke up late on Friday after I passed out. Um, I stayed up late that night. I stayed up past two o'clock trying to play, trying to get, play, just do all the catch up stuff. I'm like, I got this, I can do this. And then I just sonked out. <laughs> and then the next day I'm like, I don't feel like doing this. So tonight I'm going to have to do a little bit of catch up again. Um, 
I'm going to have to farm some stuff because I spent way too much gold buying a recipe. I shouldn't have done it, but I was just like, I, I wanted to start making the stuff myself and sell, sell the um, potion potion ingredients because I wanted to make a pretty penny as well. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to, but you know what? I could try. <laughs> um... But yeah, it's just like, I'm no longer a millionaire <laughs> in gold. I have no more of that. I am down to 200,000 gold. And I'm, I'm like, no, why do I do this to myself? It's going to take ages to get back to a million gold. Because <laughs> um, I've been struggling. I remember struggling like right before I stopped playing, like how hard it was to get to, a to stay above a million with everything I kept spending on. So if either I was just... My evenings are now going to be wow, I think, is what's going to happen. Um, so that's probably what's going to happen, just so that way I can stay, try and get back up to a million gold and farm uh, all the um, uh, herbs and stuff like that to make those potions and flask, well, files, not flask anymore. <laughs> um, but I think I'm going to call it here. It's over an hour, honestly. Uh, I tried to shorten it a little bit so it wasn't going to take like an hour and 30 minutes, um, but it's still a little over an hour. But um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I see you guys in the next video. Bye!